I have a React Native application with a red button where when we tap it once, it says box tapped. If we double tap it, we get double tapped alerted. And to double tap, you can just press option on your keyboard uh, within the iOS simulator to get it to simulate a double tap. Now let's refactor this multi-tap component to actually allow us to add a delay. So if we double tap and hold, that's the only point that it's going to uh, take an action versus just an immediate touch and release. You need to hold the app for 1000 milliseconds or one second. So let's go ahead and add a delay prop to our component and we're just gonna call this 1000. I'm also going to add a variable and we're going to call this start press and we're just gonna default this to null. So basically the point at which we want to start uh, detecting the press is when we have established that you know we should be the responder to this event, to this double tap event, and that's going to happen here when our touches.length is equal to the number of touches that we want to actually detect at this point in time. So if this is true, if we are actually responding to this event, we can go ahead and say this.startPress is going to equal to uh, date, dot now and then looking at the on responder release since we're only going to want this to happen when uh, the application has been by default held down uh, or the button has been held down for one second we can go ahead and make a comparison here so first we're going to say uh, we'll just grab the time right now so we can say now is equal to date dot now we'll then go ahead and check uh, that this dot start press actually exists because it, it defaults to null and if somehow on responder release uh, is called before it exists, we'll just go ahead and make sure that it does indeed exist. We'll then go ahead and subtract uh, this dot start press from now, which will give us the millisecond difference between those two times. And then we want to make sure that that is actually greater than our delay. If all of these factors are true, we'll go ahead and call this dot props dot on press and delay is actually coming from this dot props. So now when we go ahead and test this, we can see single tap press is fine. A quick double tap, it doesn't do anything. But then if we double tap it, hold it, and then release, we can see we get that double tap. And then the final thing we'll want to do before finishing off this component is just making sure that on responder release, we go ahead and reset this dot start press and set it to the default value of null. And now we've got a multi-tap component that we can go ahead and detect double taps with a delay if we wish.